Have you ever been really good at something only to fail because of someone else? Take for instance, any team sport. There might be a star athlete whose technique and work ethic are spectacular, yet still has to run laps after practice because someone else on the team isn't doing things correctly. Do you think it would be smart for that star athlete to ridicule the teammate or help them improve? In Mark 10, Jesus tells us the kingdom of God works as one. Whoever wants to be first must be a slave of all, he says. A servant can't look after his own interests before those of the person he serves. It's a life built on sacrifice, denying our own desires in order to ensure that others' needs are met. But we don't simply erase or eradicate our own desires. Instead, we entrust them to the one who gave up everything for us, who served us on the cross, and serves us still today in heaven. Jesus isn't simply our coach. He tells us, even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Every believer has been served by the very creator of the universe. He gave his life as a ransom for many, you and me included. Our relationship with God wouldn't be possible without Jesus' act of service. When we embrace all that he's already provided through his sacrifice, we can let go of control over things that we need and focus on what others need. Others, who by the way, shouldn't be focused on themselves, but on you. You see the strategy there? Focus on yourself and you're only as strong as you are. But as part of a team of people who are all dedicated to each other's needs, we have the power of the whole behind us. Which do you think is better?